There are numerous elements to operating a successful long-term care facility. First dose and stat medications are one of the key elements that can pose a daily operational challenge. Currently, tackle boxes, paper process, and stat pharmacy deliveries are fraught with tracking hassles, missed billing opportunities, and expensive delivery charges. The challenge is how to securely and accurately account for these on-site stock medications without a large capital purchase in automated dispensing. LTC pharmacies and facilities are turning to the StatSafe system by Phoenix LTC to answer this challenge. They depend on the inventory management and security features to keep their operation running smooth. Lastly, they like the dramatically lower operating budget when compared to Stat Pharmacy deliveries and acute care automated systems. StatSafe provides the intuitive and easy to use Apple iPad technology, a host of tracking and security features, immediate on-site access to securely stored medication, drug verification system, and alerts for refills, unresolved discrepancies, and expiring medications to name a few. When the StatSafe system is initiated, each staff member is assigned a username, password, and a user level such as supervisor, standard user, or witness only. In addition, access rights to specific StatSafe drawers and boxes may be set. For instance, denied access to the narcotic box. The staff's profiles are accessible anywhere and anytime by a pharmacy or facility supervisor via the StatSafe or portal web access. The user logs in to dispense a medication or perform any StatSafe cabinet function. A login photo is taken and attached to all transactions for that period. Then, the user touches Remove Medication on the menu option and selects a patient name. You may use the convenient letter sort by touching a specific letter such as S on the keyboard to only display names that start with S. This feature makes it quick and easy to find a patient. Lastly, on the top of the menu is the option to quickly add a patient. Next, the user touches Add Medication and chooses from the available inventory in the StatSafe cabinet. The letter sort function is also available. The user confirms the quantity and touches OK. This returns the menu to Remove Medications, where additional items may be added. After all the medications for the patient are selected, the user touches Finish. This unlocks the drawer where the medication is located and the status light illuminates. The user opens the drawer and pulls the correct medication marked by a serial number. The serial number system is a simple and creative method for locating medication. For example, serial number 2D-51 will be in drawer 2, row D, and in the 51st numeric position. The medication for this example is a punch card, however, any pharmacy approved package may be utilized. When the medication is removed, two items are requested a four-digit PIN that verifies the correct medication has been retrieved, and a blind inventory count of the package is required. The quantity and physician may also be updated at this time. Confirm is touched, medication dispensed and returned to the drawer, and then it is closed. Then, the next medication window appears until each med is dispensed. Any cancellations are recorded with a login photo. The StatSafe system can track other locations outside of its cabinet, such as the refrigerator. In the event the PIN is incorrect, a notification window appears and the transaction will not complete until the correct PIN is entered. If an incorrect blind count is entered, a notification window appears requesting the count to be re-entered. If it is still incorrect, the transaction will complete and a discrepancy icon appears for authorized staff to again check the count, notate, and resolve it. Two additional optional security features are the witness function and single-use access pins. These features may be assigned to a specific drawer, box, or the entire StatSafe cabinet system. The witness function requires the user to have an authorized staff member login to access the cabinet. A witness login photo is taken and attached to the transaction. The single-use access pin requires the user to contact the pharmacy to obtain a one-time four-digit PIN to access a drawer or box. There are four functions in inventory management. Accept refills is used when the pharmacy sends a refill or a new medication is to be added to the StatSafe dispense cabinet. 
When the user receives the medication, they log in, touch Inventory Management, and choose Accept Refills. A list appears with only the inventory items needed for acceptance. The user chooses the medication with the corresponding serial number from the list and verifies the PIN. The corresponding drawer opens for the user to load the medication and then closes the drawer. It is that simple. Move or Remove Inventory and Audit Inventory are supervisor functions. There are three groupings in the facility management, patients, users, and physicians. Users may add, activate, and discharge patients and physicians, as well as view the transaction history, including the login photos. However, only the supervisor status can update the user information and access rights. The StatSafe cabinet communicates with the pharmacy via two options, 4G or Wi-Fi to the cloud, which is accessed through the web portal. The StatSafe data may be accessed anywhere and anytime on any web browser via the portal. This is where the pharmacy manages all the facets of the system, including inventory, expiring meds, staff, drawer configurations, etc. The facility may be assigned their own profile to manage aspects that are key to their operation, such as user password management, audits, inventory discrepancies, and more. Be sure to ask us about interface with your EMAR systems and pharmacy software. The StatSafe system meets the challenges of providing first dose and stat medication delivering safe storage of abundant inventory, on-site access with modifiable security features, medication error risk reduced, intuitive and reliable Apple iPad technology, real-time accounting for inventory, and security and inventory reporting.